Welcome to our presentation on the landslide experience in Chitang Hill Tracks from the core of engineers, Bangladesh Army perspective. Uh, esteemed audience, we are not the subject matter expert, rather we use the knowledge acquired through the research and from our own experience into practice. And we shall share some of our experience uh, and the construction practices so that we can understand that where we are actually. As you know that about 12% of our mountainous region covering the hills of Chitang Hill Tracks and Silet District, they are basically known as the landslide plan area. And these are the areas where during the monsoon we, they, they experience huge amount of rainfall. Basically starts from the month of May and it goes peak level in the month of July. So that is the time basically the soil become very saturated and brings a lot of hazard, uh, becomes very hazardous prone. And these areas are also part of the uh, lens uh, seismic zone as per our BNBC uh, guideline. Uh, this is, this many of the area falls under the category of severe to very severe seismic zone. So sometimes it could be with the earthquake triggered event. However, considering the different categories of disaster, landslide we consider as the secondary, secondary effort. But when it, when it comes into us, we understand that where we stand in the row. Just consider the incident of uh, Firosha colony landslide incident that happened in 2012. We had been there. The mud flow covering about uh, 10 to 12 feet, it just uh, buried the entire uh, area of certain slum area. And the probability in certain condition, you cannot just imagine that what will happen, that uh, the, the victims, the probability of survival gradually diminishes. After 30 minutes, nobody can survive. And at that particular moment, I still remember that uh, the personnel from the fire brigade, they develop certain out-of-the-box idea to re evacuate them and uh, they use certain measures to spray out all the mud. You cannot just duck. You cannot just duck to bring the ev victims because victims are still alive or they could be they could be in a dying state. So you cannot duck. So such secret, uh, such a rescue operation becomes very hazardous under uh, landslide event. This is one incident. So in our case, whatever the case may be, what, uh, this is considered as a very severe situation when it comes. And accordingly, government has enacted various uh, strategic documents. Those are very comprehensive and very strong. And uh, where it also gave out the responsibilities, standing orders of different agencies. And uh, armed forces actually comes into play into this uh, diagram. Okay. Basically, uh, in this document, armed forces are assigned in the search and, rescue, search and rescue operation, in the damage and needs assessment, medical support, relief and IDP management, post-disaster restoration facilities. In this forum, I shall be discussing about the intervention, engineering inter intervention. I am from the Corps of Engineers, and what we are doing, that would be more pertinent in, our, uh, in, in, in this uh, current forum. So these are the uh, preconditioning factors, natural and man-made factors that I jotted down. Much discussion had taken place regarding the soil structure, topography, tectonic activity. So um, I shall not be highlighting uh, much of the, those. Uh, you know that how these, these mountains, very, very steep, having hardly 30 meter ridge line at the top. So that what you can do with, with the stability. So it had been standing there for years together. So, uh, soil structure, there could be some dispersive soil also, not, not much, ha much hazardous like as the Tasmania, but still there are, there are some non-cohesive uh, soil structures in the Shitakundo hills that collapses with, uh, when it gets saturated. And again, there's an angle of rip uh, uh, frictional angle and the slope everything was discussed by the previous speakers. I shall be highlighting about the man-made factors. This is, the, this is basically the main reason that we consider that 
brings into play during the landslide. It is not that always the natural situation is the main reason. Okay. Like the deforestation. Deforestation is going up very alarmingly. Nowadays, you will not find any trees which is having age more than 30 years. Most of the trees are cut down for many reasons. And here I shall be discussing about the June cultivation also. This is the month of April and you'll find the entire hill region is under fire. Nobody has highlighted this. If you, understand, if you want to understand the dynamics of has landslide, you need to stay in the hill tracks. You need to feel that what is the culture developed there, what is the practices, and what are the other overriding factors that actually is working on it, that are actually working on it. So this is one of the serious issue that we see in the hill region. This is the month of April, and from the next month, rain will start, and they will start cultivating. So that actually provides the spaces for surface infiltration, infiltration of surface runoff. So much of the water will get inside and that will trigger the landslide uh, incident. You can feel the rage of fire in this, uh, in this AC room. It's like that. It, during this month, the entire hill tracks is just uh, burning. Okay, this is really dangerous. Disturbance in soil structure, that is also a uh, very important aspect that we see. Uh, we had been investigating we had been investigating one is landslide incident and we went down the hill and we found that the local people they are using certain structure to save up their land that in, in engineering term we call it spar and that actually deflects the deflects the mandarin water heavily mandarin water which causes continuous erosion on the landslide by the tow hill and that is also one of the reasons for that. So this is how the man-made factors are also contributing heavily into the landslide events. So triggering factors, excessive rainfall. With the rain, it becomes like ice, like, like ice cream. It melts. It loses the capacity. The cohesion is completely lost. And it starts flowing. That is a very risky situation. Earthquake, change of slope, stability, I shall be highlighting thunderstorm. Uh, during the 2017 incident, there had been severe thunderstorm. And if you, if you had the experience of staying in the hill tracks, you'll understand, you'll, you'll feel that how much people become so isolated. Uh, it is uh, so isolated that you, you cannot just imagine the huge amount of thunderstorm that takes place and that actually, actually create vibration. So we consider that this is one of the reason for contributing, triggering reason for 2017's landslide event. Meteor engineers actually prefer to construct the road at the top of the hill, not at the belly. Because we consider that if we disturb the, disturb the mountain, it will be more hazardous prone and we don't want to make more disturbance onto the onto the mountains. So meter roads are created on the top. That is the basic deviation from the usual practice in various countries. Other countries like India, they have the steep rock, very stable situation, so they can go through the belly, but we prefer to go through the top. And the drainage, this is very much important. What you can do with the different sand layers, different layers of exposed layers of soil, you cannot just manage everything, Mana manage the angle of repose, manage the slope, everything for, uh, for, for that uh, specific, specific type of soil. You need to concentrate on the drainage practices. This is very much important. Poor drainage is the main reason for landslide event. We have to remember this thing. And for the hill road, we actually put our more emphasis on this. We collect the water, we intercept the water from the top, collect the water as per the road Rosenhayo guidelines, we take the water at the bottom so that the hill doesn't erode. This is very much important. Surface runoff will be, will be increasing when we construct this sort of pavement. Okay, so these factors have to be considered uh, very seriously. Slope stabilization. This is a new technique. We actually don't want to. Uh, this is a this is a new shift uh, shift or concept. 
recently we are thinking that we shall not go for any construction of heavy uh, retaining wall. Retaining wall are not very cost effective and it cannot actually protect their slope. Uh, from our previous experience we found that. Rather we should go something that is environmental friendly and this is one of the measures that we found that yes it is working good still now. Subsoil drainage system, this, this is also another, uh, another system that we are following in the construction practices. Uh, actually the new road, you'll, in the new road you will not find such hazard in this area. Basically where we are, this sort of hazard are seen, those are where the drainage system is not properly managed. And finally this is plantation practice, Vitibar, the Dr. Professor Sharif from Buet Jitpas, he actually they propagated this idea, uh, the, uh, the Vitibar or the Chon we call in our, those are very very much useful in protecting the sand that can, that can segregate the water in different directions. So the cutting edge will be reduced and the slope will be protected. So at this stage uh, I shall just uh, request uh, Cornell Mashfik to take over for the next of the presentation. Thank you very much.